So minimal is very much in fashion at the moment. So I thought, why not do a minimal watch face video? With the Galaxy Watch 3 on the horizon, you might be thinking about how you can customize it. So as always, let me know in the comments which is your favorite watch face. And also, I'd like to know where you're viewing from. So if you could write down in the comments which country you're viewing from and say hello, that would be amazing. Hello guys, welcome back to Take It Easy. Just a quick note before we jump into the video, uh, the giveaway will be ending this weekend. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning a brand new MSI gaming monitor, Head over to the giveaway video on my channel to find out how to enter. Okay, so first up on the list is the Nighty Saver. Now this is a really, really basic watch face, but it does have a really cool feature and that is that it actually helps your battery life. But as far as the rest of the watch face goes, everything is kept really, really simple, really, really minimal. It has a really nice tiny blue dial, which indicates the seconds, but other than that, it just shows the date and the time. Very, very basic, but it will help with your battery life. Next up on the list is the minimal watch face. And yes, it is actually called the minimal watch face. Really, really nice, a simple, smart looking watch face. Perfect for any environment really. It has quite a nice basic uh, dark mode. But yeah, again, keeping everything really, really simple. Just your basic date and time there and a battery gauge. Definitely one of my favorite ones from this episode. The blue accents there are certainly a nice touch and I'm also seeing a lot of that in these minimal watch faces. So in at number three is the Steps Circle watch face. Now this looks very similar to the first watch face we showed off, the Nighty Saver, in that it has the black background, white dials, and then that blue accent there, except this time the blue dot is slightly bigger. And yep, you guessed it, this one shows your steps. Again, this is gonna really help with battery life because it's very minimal, very basic. So if you do have one of the older generation Galaxy watches like I do, then this might be something to look out for. If you've got the new Galaxy Watch 3, however, you might not be too bothered about your battery life, but always a good option. You can never have too much battery. Now, next up is the Gulliver's watch face. Now, I wasn't too sure about this one at first, but I thought maybe for people who've got the rose gold edition, this might go really nicely with that. And it does have a really cool feature that when you tap on the screen, it'll actually change the color of the background for you. Extremely basic. It just tells you the date and the time with some really nice classic looking dials and numbers there. But yeah, if you want a minimal watch face that you can customize, then this might be a good choice for you. Next up, we've got the Mosh 3 watch face. Yet again, another watch face that's most likely gonna save you some battery life because there's very few whites and very little color, but it's all been done really, really nicely. I almost think the ambient mode on this looks better, but it's also nice to see a minimal watch face that fits so much information on there. So you've got your date, time, battery life, and then your steps and distance walked. It also has analog and digital, so you've got a choice there for when you're out and about. But yeah, definitely a really good contender for a minimal watch face, and certainly one to consider. Next up on the list is the Simply Silver watch face. Now this is the one I've been wearing the most recently, purely because yet again, it saves on your battery life, but this one actually looks really, really good. It is super simple, but it still looks quite stylish. Yet again, I do think the ambient mode looks better than the actual watch face, but when you do have it turned on, it gives you loads of information, uh, including your steps, battery life, date, and your time. And of course you can see it gives you the time in digital and analog. So you've got a choice there. Definitely a watch face I would recommend, given that it looks so great and saves some battery. Now up next on the list is the Rose Vision watch face. Now this isn't my usual cup of tea or coffee if you're an American, but it certainly fits in with the minimal theme and, may, and might be more appealing to some of the ladies out there. I actually really like the modern sleep design here. And again, it gives you all the basics such as your time, date and day. It also has quite a nice ambient mode to stop you from draining the battery so much. Certainly an eye catcher. In at number eight, we've got the cream pie. In at number eight, we've got the color pie watch face. Again, a really different watch face. It's quite similar to the last one we saw, but might be a bit more appealing to, well, everyone. Now, when I first tried this out, I tapped the screen and the color of the background changed. But then when I tried again, it wouldn't do it. But it does actually seem to change randomly on its own through a cycle of different colors. Again, really minimal, keeping it basic 
and definitely a modern new look to your smartwatch. If you're gonna to want to catch people's attention, this might be a really good watch face for doing just that. In at number nine, we've got the Blue Pop watch face. Now this is our first one with a white background. Uh, this might use a little bit more battery, but it certainly looks amazing. I really like how it's got your steps there. I really like to have my steps on the screen at all times. But other than that, it's just gonna tell you your day, time, and day. The blue against the white really makes it pop and it has a really nice ambient mode again, keeping it very minimal and basic. I've been wearing this one quite a lot recently and I'm really, really growing to love it. Now, last but not least, we've got the luxury pink watch face. Some of the guys might be put off because it's pink, but it actually looks amazing on my Midnight Black Edition of the Galaxy Watch. The contrast looks, just looks really, really good. It's really eye-catching. And then the ambient mode there is really, really minimal and clean. As with most of the other ones, it's got really basic information on display, such as your uh, battery life, date, time, and day. Definitely another favorite of mine, a really, really good quality watch face. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. Um, let me know what you thought of these watch faces. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a nice variety in here. And certainly if you've got one of the older Galaxy watches, then maybe then maybe looking into one of the watch faces that saves back on battery life might be a good idea for you. As always, let me know in the comments which one your favorite was from this episode. But for now, take care and I will see you in the next one.